All right, let me show you how to provision a Microsoft Teams panel, but this is the same steps we use for IP phones and Teams displays and Teams rooms on Android. So in Teams Admin Center, I'm going to go down to Teams Panels, and then in the upper right where it says Actions, I'm going to pick Provision Devices. Here it's going to want to know the MAC address of my device. Now I could click here and upload multiple MAC addresses using a CSV file, and fortunately a template is provided to help with that. I'm only going to do a single MAC address, but I honestly don't know my MAC address, so I'm going to remote to my device, sign in, and grab the MAC address from the administrative interface, which is up here in the upper right on this device. So I'll copy that MAC address and paste it into the MAC address field. Location is really a freeform text. You can type anything there you want. I'm in a, in a house location, a place called Townview. So I will put Townview in there. My device shows up here. So I'm gonna create a verification code by clicking generate verification code and it creates a unique code. Now on my Teams panel, I'm going to click the cog in the upper right and then pick provision device and then type in the verification code that was generated in Teams Admin Center. So I'll type that in and there you go, device has been provisioned successfully. On Teams Admin Center, I can click now in waiting for sign in and there's my device and it is correctly listed as signed out. So let me click that and then this will now kick off a backend process to set up the remote sign in. So this will take a minute or two. So I'm going to uh, wait until that gets uh, set up. So now I can go to the Microsoft.com device login page and do the remote sign in. First, I'm going to copy the code that I'm going to need and then go to the device login page. From here, I will paste in the code and then sign in as the account I want to sign in as. So I've copied that down ahead of time, so let me paste that in and then punch in the password. And yes, I am trying to sign in. Once I do that, I can close this page and I can actually close this and then we can take a look at our Teams panel and see that it is now going through the whole Active Directory and Company Portal sign-in steps required to get the Teams panel to join in with its Teams account. And there we go, our Teams panel is now signed in. And if I go down to the Teams panels uh, section of Teams Admin Center, I can see that there is my panel that has uh, shown up now. So in a moment, it'll refresh with some, some fresh data and the username that's there. But there we go, that is provisioning and remote sign-in for Teams Android devices.